What's up you guys and welcome again to my channel. My name is King Ink and today I am going to be talking to you guys about how to relieve stress and anxiety. Just a few things that I've kind of learned along the years. I mean, I've carried a lot of stuff with me just because, I mean, I've had, at this point, understanding that I've had childhood anxiety, like literally my entire life and now it's just bigger anxiety. And, uh, as somebody who moved out at 17 because of bad home situations and things like that, definitely there's a lot of stress from before and after. But definitely, things are better. Things are better. So, some of the things that I've done, and I will say this, that if none of these things are things that you vibe with, things that you're even interested in, if you don't want to do it, then awesome now you know what doesn't work that's all i'll say because i won't lie that sometimes i look up videos on how to relieve stress how to chill out self-care tips and it's just not it, it's just something that's not for me and then it feels like sometimes that i might be wrong and i'm like damn like if these things won't work will 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 nothing work you can't think that way just be happy that at least if you watch this entire video, which I would appreciate, and none of them work, at least you know what to rule out. Because I've had to try so many things on and off to see if they'd work for me, and so many of them ended up pissing me off. But the rest, amazing. So I'm just going to share the ones that work for me, okay? How to relieve stress and anxiety. So, first off, try to understand that you are not about to perish because i won't lie at the end of the day everything i say is easier said than done but fathom understanding that when you go to bed tonight it's not the end of the world bruh chill you literally just need to go to sleep like it's not that crazy okay don't listen to your thoughts after like the sun goes down okay because that's when the freaky scary spooky worms come out of your brain and start whispering the craziest shit ever okay like they'll pull up they'll pull up the spookiest png you've ever seen in your fucking life and then you're like the sky is fucking falling okay no no wrap your head around the fact that you are literally going to be fucking fine because all you're doing is going to bed okay you're going to bed the 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 sun just went to sleep okay because i'm scared of the dark i'm scared of the dark i know some people are like oh my god why are you talking like i'm some little again if this advice doesn't work for you don't take it but holy shit, this has helped me out a lot just because for some reason, I just get this strong, strong feeling of impending doom. And I'm like, I'm a little scared. I'm really scared. And it's the only thing I can think about. And I've said this before, like on my TikTok, but it literally feels like the end curtains of the final act of a fucking like play is falling down from my perspective. And I'm like, <laughs> chill 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 we're just we're just we're just going bedtime okay that's it we're going night night okay go to go to sleep go to sleep i have insomnia another thing that i do to chill out i like to go on a little adventure this is something that i'm definitely practicing and something that i'm still definitely new to so don't get me wrong it's hard and sometimes in the middle of it i'm not having a good time anymore but once i'm done with it i'm just so happy to have known that i went outside like i'm so happy okay i'm so happy i took the bus somewhere okay i'm so happy that i walked out to throw the trash and i saw that the sun still existed to get today okay like sometimes me doing a simple trash run is like wow the outside is really really nice because shit has been difficult okay shit has been difficult small wins you guys small wins and then sometimes i just go out and i chill and i go to like a store sometimes i go to the grocery store sometimes i just go to the gas station and i grab like one thing 
or I literally just look around because I'm not going to lie. I don't always have the money to exist outside, but also existing outside is like literally free. That's why I tell you guys, like follow your curiosity for free. The most entertaining shit you could ever do for free. Okay, so it just kind of breaks you out of the same four walls that you've been around kind of just snaps you back into like a bit more reality may it be uncomfortable or not it definitely just takes you out of that headspace especially like at least for me again i'm just like whoa okay like the the world continues to move i like to know that no matter how freaked out i get intermission bro ralph's offering grapefruit citrus soda are you kidding me it's my favorite pardon me i will be sipping from the bottle i only do this sometimes i only do this sometimes okay i was raised i was raised right That is so good. That is so good. <laughs> Something else that definitely helps me with relieving like a lot of my anxiety is going back to some of those like work in progress little projects that seem a little bit just like random and out of nowhere. If you literally have nothing to fucking do that day, pick up one of your work in progress projects. I'd say definitely please lean more into it being more of like a a creative thing like a fun activity like maybe if you've you know you've been thinking of reorganizing your like figure shelves because as you can see with my entire desk area over here i have a lot of trinkets and items and things that need to be in specific positions or else i'll be a little bit upset like i'm gonna look at it and i'm gonna be like that's not right that's not right that's not right i don't know I like to reorganize things. That's something that I genuinely like. I love to reorganize my trinkets. I love to reorganize my things. I'm a menace and low key, I like to dust. I like to dust my things off because I don't like when little particles of my skin, like organ particles all over my, no, I. that's for me. Maybe it works for you. It just feels really satisfying to have like a clean slate. Your desk, get the bits off of it. Wipe it off. Oh my gosh, everything's clear. If it's a glass table, holy shit, it's clear. Keyboard, nothing on it. I don't really get a lot of stuff on my keyboard, but I still like the way it looks when it's perfectly wiped down and I have little keyboard vacuums. Tidy up your little space. That's the next thing I'm going to I'm going to say. Make sure to tidy up your space. Whatever the style may be, I have very like maximalist vibe of just having like a lot of things. Even if you're minimalist, whatever, keep up with your space to a capacity that's going to help you like kind of breathe, okay? Like even if you have a lot of stuff like I do, please make sure to still like respect like your personal bubble. May that be yours is smaller, yours is bigger. Take into take that into account when you're doing your organizing because it's yours. Last thing I'll say is a quick thing is make a childhood meal, okay? Sometimes I just need to make white rice, make a sunny side up egg, put butter in my rice, a little bit of mayo in my rice, mix it together, put the egg on top and just have that for dinner, okay? Childhood meal, it just gives you that comfort. Put on a nice show, put on a movie. It doesn't matter if you've seen it a hundred times. I've watched Happy Feet 5,237 times. But yeah, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching my vid videos and make sure to follow me on all my other social media down below. Uh, yeah, I have been having fun with these videos and I'm going to be making a lot more because I have a lot of different things to say. So bye.